Hey, this is Mike Orlando from Adrenaline Mob. In this lesson, I'll be continuing with the percussive tapping technique, and I'll be showing you an excerpt from a song that I have called Full Speed X from my Sonic Stomp material. And we'll go through it slow, fast, break it all down for you, show you the chords behind it, and uh, you know the meaning of it and all the, the good stuff. Hope you enjoy. So let me show you the chords that are behind the licks. I start off with an F sharp minor chord. And then I move up to an A major chord. And then an E chord. It's like a power chord. And then D. And then back around. And I just loop that. All right, so let me break down lick by lick what's going on here. The pattern is similar to uh, the other percussive tapping lick that I showed you in a previous lesson. It basically is grouped in two threes and two. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. That's part of it. There are different groupings, and the one is always the, uh, you know, the, the top note. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, and that's basically the idea. So I'll play it slow. The second part, which moves up to the A major chord, is the same style, the one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, but it's a descending high note with my right hand down the scale. I'll play it for you slow. One more time slow, and then I'll play it up to speed. And make sure when you're tapping with your right hand that it's a very quick tap. It's a quick release. Hence the uh, percussive tapping. It's more like a, you know. So you have to release because you have the other notes that are coming in to play on the left hand. So it's a quick release. Always quick. Let's move on to the next position. The next part is based on an E chord. I move the position down to the E and the B on the B and the E string. Time slow. And then on the D chord, I'll do a tapping technique, which uh, this is a four note per string tapping technique. And then I go down, descending down a D major scale. Same thing, four notes per string, descending.
on this four note per string tapping technique, I start with my right hand to basically engage the pull off hammer on of the tap. So it's. Basically gets me going. So I start off with an actual note tapped. And then I go into the lick. But once it gets me started, then it's back to. So it starts off. And then descending down the scale with the four notes per string. So in part two, going back to the F sharp minor chord, um, I use the same lick to start off with. But basically I change when I go to the A major chord. It's the same grouping, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Always remember that. But coming up, you'll hear groups of threes. So it's da 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 I'll play it slow. The next lick goes to the E chord, but we change it around a little, little bit. The, uh, the tempo is still the same, the vibe is still the same, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. But the left hand is a little different. I'll play it for you slow. The next riff is based upon the D chord. Same pattern, but what I do right after the first one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, is I move down the descending scale with my right hand, releasing the notes quick. So just remember that that pattern is more of a scale pattern on your left hand like this. Also throughout the lick, when I'm playing it, the, uh, the B string is always kind of pulsating the note. It's always open because the right hand is always moving on the E string only. So that's where all the actual melody, the moving melody comes from. Whereas the, the, uh, the, B, the B string with my left hand, it's always gone. It's always there, and the right hand is kind of bopping up and down to get the melody. So it's hard to keep clean. You definitely have to, uh, you know, I position my right hand over the strings, so I kind of I clean it up as best as I can. Even though I'm up here, I'm still gently leaning on all six strings to get a nice clean, clean up any, uh, you know, artifacts coming from the amp. 